between the U.S. and People's Republic of China are on the rise as the administration answers allegations that it allowed sensitive U.S. technologies to be sold to a dissident group in Heilongjiang. In other news, we now go live to the White House press room where Secretary of State Vince Haddon is expected to comment on the Kazakhstan missile incident. As many of you know, four hours ago, a nuclear missile was detonated over Kazakhstan. The Kazakhstan government assures us this was an accidental launch and that the missile was destroyed via their own safety countermeasures. An investigation is underway. I cannot answer any more questions at this time. The entire area has been closed off amid reports of possible contamination. Local news stations report that precautions are being taken to prevent... You guys made the news. The agency doesn't like it when their operations go public, or so I thought. If we have our way, it's going to get a lot more public than this. You ready for us? Smugglers use single-engine planes, not C-130 transports, you know. This old gravel road you call an airstrip's never tried to land anything that big before. You sure you want to bring it here? We don't have much choice. ETA 16 hours. Gabe, the transport's here. Chance, get up to the landing strip. I want that transport ready to go in half an hour. You got it, I'm already there. <laughs> Leon, you okay? You don't sound so good. I'll be fine. Just make sure that airstrip is ready. Teresa, you're the only one we can count on now. I'll be ready. Out. What the? I found the mainframe with Farcom's backup data. <laughs> and Fagan's personal files. Gabe? The transport has an escort. Two Blackhawks running silent. It's Morgan and Falcon. Okay, got it. Out. She's at the second hangar. Falcon, take the second squad and get her. First squad, get Logan on those discs. UN forces are on their way and we have to be finished before they get here. Concussion grenades only. We need her alive. Dobson, get those guys out of there. Tell them to be moved. Pull your men back to the hangar and wait. I'm on my way. Already on it. Just have to hold them off until Gregorov gets here. Ramirez, get these discs into the silo. I'll signal when the landing strip is cleared. Yes, sir. Leon? Leon, do you copy? Okay, we have her. No, Logan is still alive. The Russians are here. We're out of time. We'll finish Logan later. Move those vehicles out of here. I want the airfield secured. That's it. Everything's locked down tight. Logan, <laughs> your request for aid, it came too late, yes? They've taken her. Uh, I am sorry. She and I are old friends. They will kill her? As long as I have the discs, the agency won't harm her. The Cossacks are on the way. You must be gone before they arrive. I never saw you here. I understand. Move squads A and B into the warehouse. Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Siphon Filter 2. And uh, now, as we recently uh, finished the first game, I thought, you know, we might as well jog straight on to the second one, and we are going to do the third as well. Now, this is actually the third or fourth time that I've actually recorded this game. I was going to do um, a voiceover for this LP, but I decided I, I wasn't happy with how it was coming out, put it that way. Uh, so I originally recorded this game months ago, 
quite literally months ago, uh, and it uh, apparently uh, I deleted the files when I was cleaning out, um, you know, some of my uh, unused files and whatnot. So no worries, uh, I replayed through the game and recorded it again, and uh, pff, the sound was completely blown out and shot. So I guess this is third time lucky. Now, because I've seen that introduction so many times now, it's starting to just hit and um, I can't unnotice just how wrong everybody looks uh, and just how weird the character models are in this game. Um, you know, uh, it's like character models are... 85% uh, torso um, it's it's just strange uh, and especially Gabe Logan as well uh, and I noticed this in the original game he has a very strange midsection it's kind of like his tra he's sagging his trousers around his arsehole which I do you know I'm not judging him for that but it just looks odd and it looks like there's a weird twist in his uh, midsection and then it goes into a, a, a his torso which uh, like every character um, model in this game everyone's torso is just a box uh, a very large box yeah it's just bizarre and the way he uh, is holding a gun and in fact everybody is holding a pistol in this game even in this little cinematic here that's playing it's like he's picked up a gun but it's like an alien object. He doesn't really know what it is. He doesn't know how to hold it. And it, yeah, it's, it's it's kind of comical. So anyway, um, I can actually say, does this game hold up? Because I've already played it three times. Uh, yeah, actually it does. Uh, I actually enjoyed this one more than the first game, to be honest, I think. Uh, there's some new mechanics, bigger levels, and the story is very interesting. The way the story basically continues straight from where the first game um, finished. So Leon is still infected. We found that the agency was in on the whole thing and were in cahoots with the big bad. And we're now fugitives on the run, but we've got some new allies. And uh, let's get going, shall we? This game also has two player, which I believe is new to this uh, game. I don't think two player was in the first game. Can't really remember, but let's go. Eager to play. Again. Again, again, again. Again. That airstrip ready, Teresa? ETA two hours. Yeah, it's clear. Might be a little bumpy. Make sure you're strapped in tight. You okay, Chance? Damn concussion grenade. My ears won't stop ringing. Hey, are we expecting an escort? What? What the hell? down hard the data discs no time kowalski grab the c4 yes sir grab the transponders locator we'll need it got it come on move it jump keep moving go 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 teresa i'm not gonna need your landing strip after all come down the hard way <laughs> Well, that went badly, didn't it? I guess um, it doesn't pay to be on the agency's bad side. So, I always thought that that introduction was kind of interesting because it's a very early, I think it's came out in the year 2000, and it shows you a very early approximation of a F-22, which I don't believe entered service until, I want to say it was... I want to say the F-22 entered service somewhere around 2007, I believe. So this game, yeah, came out around seven years before it went active. And they've got it, you know, we get a better look at the model of the F-22 later on in this game. Um, 
but they they did a pretty good job with it but again like with the whole visual mess of this game it just looks wrong like the afterburners are weird it's carrying uh, weapon saws on its wings uh, exposed which the F-22 does not do it defeats the entire purpose of the airframe <laughs> but yeah it, it's cool uh, and I remember I, I think I really enjoyed that cutscene back in the day so Teresa is our new ally she is an ex-agency agent, and uh, she's like our only friend, apart from Leon, really. Who, yeah, Leon doesn't kind of ex uh, count because she's dying, and you know. Anyway, so your C-130 transport returning from Kazakhstan has been shot down over the Colorado Rockies by agency fighters. You and a handful of CBDC agents were able to get off in time, and now are spread out along a mountain range. You must reach the C-130 crash site and retrieve the Farcom data disks before the agency does. Find Chance, Lieutenant, and collect the C-130's transponder locator. Use it to pinpoint the location of the down transport and then use any and all means necessary to reach that location. The data disks must be retrieved to find a cure for siphon filter and to save Lian. Well, okay then. I'm not out of this yet. I've got to find chance to get the transponder locator from him. See if you can find an agency channel and break into it. I want to find out how big this operation is. You got it. Radio me if you hear from Leon. Okay. Hey, Gabe. Good luck. Right. <laughs> Gabe's going to say that a few times throughout this playthrough. Right. And it cracks me up every time. Now, a little secret, or maybe not that secret. We want to try and land here. Uh, and the reason for that is there is a, uh, uh, I was going to say M11. There's a H11 here. And this weapon is disgusting. It's so deliciously overpowered for the first level. It's uh, wicked, in fact. Got a little bit of zoom on it. You know, not a huge zoom, but, you know, plenty. And it has an insane fire rate. So it's going to be our best friend for this level. Anyway, let's meet up with the boys. Kowalski. How's the lead? Definitely broken, sir. Two places. Pretty sure. I don't think I can support my weight. All right. I want you men to stay here. Find cover if you can. I need to find Chance. You know what happened to him? I know he made it off the transport. I think he touched down somewhere south of here. Got it. Also, peep these uh, M16s. Their model is just wrong as well. It's really bizarre. It's only actually... Um, I noticed this. I thought this was an emulation problem, but I have actually got this game on disc, and I did try it in a PlayStation 2. Nope, that's how the models are. The M16s don't have um, buttstocks for some reason, or grips. Yeah, a lot of strange, weird... The more I've played this game, and I've probably played this game more than anybody should in the last <laughs> month or so, um, or last couple of months, really... Yeah, the, the amount of visual weirdness that I am uh, experiment, uh, experiencing and discovering is kind of crazy. You're right there, bucko. You've been able to raise anyone on that thing? I've been SOL so far, sir. Interference is pretty bad. I don't think we can get a signal off this mountain. Well, don't waste your time. The agency doesn't want anyone to know we're up here. Sir? I'm looking for Chance. Let me see what I can do. Lieutenant Chance, come in. Do you read? This is Davies. I saw the lieutenant. Private, I need you to take me to him. You copy that? Yes, sir. I'm on my way to your location now. Roger that. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. Well, it looks like we're pretty much spread right over this mountain, but I guess that's to be expected. We were all blown massively off course. Now, if we go over here, there is actually another ammo box. Not sure how all these ammo boxes um, got here. This one has an M16, which uh, we, pr uh, we probably don't need for this level, but we'll take it. Um, and yeah, I know. Oh, the ammo boxes. They came from the C-130. Did they? Really? Well, then, in a minute or two, explain <laughs> explain the secret one. Maybe it's a Yeti's or something. He's hidden it up in the mountains in case the government comes for him. Isn't that what the Americans always worried about? The government coming for them or something? You went into that cave. Right. You stay here and stay alert. Are you expecting trouble, sir? Always. That's the right answer. Always expect trouble. I mean, dude, we literally just got shot out of the sky by two agency F-22s. 
I mean, that's a pretty good indicator that trouble is might be on the way. I don't know if you guys noticed either, but have you seen all the weapons laying around? Yeah, another indicator that trouble is most certainly on the way. This cave is cool. This cave reminds me of Tomb Raider. Eshelman, have you seen Chance? Yes, sir. I just saw him come through here five minutes ago. This cave isn't stable. Watch yourself. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good thing uh, Logan is a geologist as well. He can tell that this cave is unstable. Uh, and if you're thinking to yourself, maybe that will come into play a little bit later on, you'd be right. Hey, and there's our boy Chance. Chilling out here all on his own. Chance, I've been looking all over for you. You got the transponder locator? Yeah, it's right here. I got all turned around. Damn, it's easy to get lost up here. I know. I've got to go back and find some high ground so I can get a reading on the transport's location. You go ahead down the mountain and find the highway. See if the agents <laughs> are moving in any heavy artillery. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Teresa, have you heard anything from Leon yet? No, but I'm following agency radio traffic. They've set up shop at an old Civil Air Patrol base in Colorado, pushing the locals around. At least that's where the F-22s that shot you down scrambled from. That's where they're taking her. Watch your back, Gabe. They've got a convoy on the way up there now and have mobilized a couple squadrons of spook air commandos. They'll be dropping in on you any minute. Who's commanding them? Morgan's issuing the orders, but an old friend is commanding the ground troops. Archer. I served with him in Guatemala. He was a young brown noser bucking for promotion. Well, looks like he made it. Keep me posted. Mm-hmm. I guess brown nosing does get you somewhere. Yeah, so Archer. Uh, yeah, he's a character. Definitely going to be dealing with him in a minute. Still, we've got some boys parachuting in. And kill him. And I'm sure there's more as well. Uh, maybe it's just him to start off with. So, actually, uh, if we come down here... Uh, I'm not going to go right in there, but if there is a cave in there, and that does have another one of these guns. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, is the fact that that uh, cave being unstable, is that going to come into gameplay? Well, of course. Let's go. Better get running, boys. Sir, behind you. I'll get him. <laughs> But he might be alive in there. Save it. I've got to get to Kowalski. He had a few C4 chargers on him. But you want to get off this mountain? We're going to have to blow our way out of here. I want you to stay here. Keep everyone else out of this cave. Understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> Forget about him. He's gone. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Listen to Gaben, my friend. Gaben knows what's up. Let's move. Right. Now we've got the transponder. So, we can go and uh, make use of that. And hopefully we can triangulate where our C-130 has gone. We're not going to be too precious with these guys. They're literally everywhere. I think that's a shotgun in there. Yeah, we'll grab it. Oh, evening. Not every day it's raining, men. He's done. Okay. Oh, God, hello. I'm trying to stick that down my throat. Nice. Now that one's a flak jacket. We don't care about that. Keep following these signal flares. Signal flares light the way. Archer says we'll have the place locked down within an hour, but they're putting up a fight. No, yeah. sir. No sign of him. Our contact says he's up here, though. Yes, sir. I'll pass it on. You're going to be passing on nothing, mate, it's apart from yourself to the next life. Ooh, shot me in the gut. Ooh, he's quite tough. Oh, hello. Evening. Now you can see actually how useless these guys are uh, at dealing damage to us. Kind of like the original game. To start off with, these enemies are absolutely pathetic. They will not stay like that. <laughs> they will get um, pretty insane as the game goes on. Like crack shots. Literally marksmen. Every single one of them. But we are not at that point yet, obviously. So... Let's get up here. Let's beep the boop. Get out of here. Um, there's our transponder. Beep, 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 beep. Sounds like R2-T2. I've got a lock on the transport's location, and I'm heading down the mountain. Hear anything yet? You're going to love this one. The agency's 
leaked a story saying the transport plane was blown up by terrorists. Uh -huh. Special agents have closed down half of Colorado to help quarantine off a potential biohazard at the crash site. They're covering their butts good. Misinformation. That's one thing the agency's good at. Gabe, once you find the crash site and get the discs, how are you going to get out of there alive? Not sure. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> out. I like that. That's the best way. Make it up as you go along. What could possibly go wrong? Now, you want to go backwards. You want to kind of fall off that the way you came up. Because if you don't, if you go forwards, you're going to die. Um, yeah. Gabe has no tolerance to falling from uh, high places. And I mean, seriously. It's kind of shocking in places, but that's fine. Anyway, let's just keep running. We're going to get out of here. Yes, the agency is covering its tracks really bloody well. And... Uh, <laughs> They're expecting a biohazard up here, are they? Well, that's not just flavor, flavor text. They're setting themselves up. So we've been pinned as criminals. Uh, that's fine, you know. All par for the course as an agency member, I guess. So it looks like our friend with the broken leg is, well, he's no longer amongst the land of the living. Which, hey, who saw that coming, right? You don't have to play the game three or four times in a month to have seen that. Right, so ooh, we are kind of getting a little bit low with the M11 or H11. Sorry, Chief, but I'm going to need that C4 off you. Gabe, how you doing out there? Not good. We're under heavy fire. I've lost six men already. What are you going to do? I'm not going to let any more of these men die on this mountain. Out. Well, we're going to try not to. So it looks like these guys have been um, tarred with the same brush as us. Now, enemies are going to start landing. But if we shoot them whilst they're on the parachutes, they just, like, instantly die. And it brings me immense levels of joy. But there's no point hanging around. Because as far as I'm aware, they just keep coming. And trust me, your ammo will run out before they do. And as we get up here, they're going to start spawning up here as well. They're pretty tenacious. That's a lot of letters going to boys' parents. That's for sure. But, you know. I guess when you work for a mega shady uh, corporate entity, or government entity, I should say, you got to expect it. Unless... You don't know you're the bad guys, and that's how they get you. And that's certainly how the agency operates. You don't know they're evil. I don't know what would have given it away. Maybe the murdering of the children. Who knows? Okay, let's keep going. Might as well grab that uh, extra ammo now. You right there, buddy? You good? Found Kowalski yet? Did you get the C4? I did. Yep. Fire in the hole, asshole. I won't run too far towards the front of the cave because there are enemies out there, my friend. And they're not happy. And there's unlimited Hold of up. them. What is it? I'm picking something up. We're making the drop now. Morgan says you've got two hours to finish the operation. That's not enough time. These guys aren't just falling over dead. Morgan's ordered the F-22s back for refueling an ordinance. This entire mountain is going up in a cloud of gas. You've got to be ready to clear out. Ramirez, that's not good. A chance. I'll handle this. Going up in a cloud of gas. Hmm. Ooh. So that's why they wanted their cover story. And this guy's literally just going to pepper us with grenades. He's not not great, to be honest. All right, he's done. Now, what I like about those guys that throw grenades is their idle animation they literally look like they're catching flies because they throw a grenade and then they just kind of like you know look left look right look up look down it looks like saying i have a comedy sketch literally catching flies you'll catch more flies with honey friend all right let's go go grab that gun there we are now, explain how that one got there. 
I mean, it's obvious, I guess. Yetis did it. If you're in a mountain and weird stuff's happening, it's always the Yetis. Uh, maybe Eskimos, you know. I don't think there's too many Eskimos around here, though. Yetis? Yetis, on the other hand. Yetis are everywhere. Alright, let's keep following these signal flares. Now, later on in the um, LP, you might hear me complaining, because I think it's only the first few videos that have screwed up. You might hear me complaining about the lag and the slowdown that's happening with this game, and that was because my emulator updated, and it changed the renderer. Without me knowing, I was starting to get some horrible frame dips. Alright. Ooh, evening boys. Ooh, that's not good. Give me a sit rep. We've got two snipers, one on either bluff. They've got us pinned and we're low on ammo. Ferguson took one in the shoulder, but he'll make it. Right. Here's what we're gonna do. Right. You give me some cover fire while I move around to flank them. I'll take him from the south and signal you when it's clear. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Sounds like a plan. Right, ready? Move. So we've got some counter sniper action going on here. Oh, God, that's fine. Now, these uh, snipers are pretty hyper lethal, to be honest. Uh, if they do get a bead on you, which is unlikely because they're more interested in your friends, um, it is a one hit kill. Oh, he's got a flak jacket. What about that? You sneaky son of a bitch. Should have armoured your head, though, shouldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's go grab some nades. And let's pop one in his back pocket, shall we? Catch, you bastard. <laughs> Kick ass. Professional soldiers, everybody. All right, not bad. I think they're all armed with H11s as well. Which is not fantastic. Uh oh. That's not good. Damn it. Well, <laughs> it's the way they hold their guns. <laughs> oh, honestly, once you once you've seen it, you you can't you can't unsee it. All right. Now, let's go save our mates. Now, the good thing is, as far as I'm aware. Our guys are actually invincible here. They're not going to die. At least, I think so. I can't say I've ever really put that to the test. Yeah, as you can see, they're just running around in circles. They keep coming! They keep coming. Yeah, I mean, they kind of do. Yep, here's Logan. Logan's here to steal your lunch. Okay. Yeah, they're literally just running around in circles. I don't even think they're trying to shoot our friends. Oh, he's trying to shoot me. Which is fine. Because we can take it. Ramirez, you stay here with Ferguson. Arm yourselves and you should be safe. As soon as I find a clear way to the highway, I'll come back for you. Yes, sir. I'll be fine, sir. Okay, hang on. Won't be long. I like the way they all look the same as well. Look, it's that idle animation where they're just like kind of standing. Do you know that reminds me of? Reminds me of Hogs of War. I swear these guys are hogs wearing skin suits. <laughs> this slack jawed mouth open. Ooh. Anyway, we leave the two idiots behind. We have a date with destiny. Sorry, Logan. If you're up to me, I'd let you live. Agency orders. Sure you would. <laughs> it's just more explosions. We're going to be jumping out of the way of explosions a lot. Uh, we are going to save the game. Sure. We'll save it in a new one and we're going to call it... Uh, I don't know. Let's go for... Re... Oh, okay. Well... Just R then for replay, I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here because I literally have to edit, render, and upload it now. Otherwise, it's not going to be up for tomorrow morning. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. It's also really late at night, by the way. <laughs>